Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wandering Joe's Fly Fishing. I'm here to make the statement that winter is absolutely for tailwaters. Because in mid to late December, I had the most ridiculous day I've ever had where I caught trout on an indicator rig, I caught trout jigging a micro leech on my Euro rod, and I caught the most trout throwing a dry fly. <laughs> uh, and I think that's what's cool about tailwaters is that the water that comes out of the dams are some level of regulated temperature, which allows the trout to thrive all year round. But it also allows for like dry fly fishing in December. If there was a warmer day, I'm sure I could still go there with a Griffiths gnat or like a midge parachute and catch a couple trout eager to eat a dry fly. The only thing I don't necessarily agree with is that you should fish tailwaters in summer, even though it's cold water, because people still pull the trout out of the water and the heat shocks them and you could really kill them, which is why I don't. And why I'm starting to do smally fishing during the summer, as you know if you've been following this channel. Anyway, you're about to witness me catching trout with an indicator, jigging a micro leech, and dry fly actions in that order. Check it out. That's a rainbow. Because other fish don't jump like that. And it's a stalker, but looks like he took the caddis. All right. Let's get the caddis out of his mouth and uh, get him back to where he belongs. Nice stocked rainbow. Off you go. All right, let's see if I can Euro microwave and get some of their predatory instincts out. Got one. Uh -uh. Ah! Got one. Ah! Well, well, that worked pretty well. Got one. Man, another stalker, but. He counts. He counts. This is also a really nice stalker. Oop. You gonna go, buddy? You gonna get out of here? There you go. See you later. All right, Let's see if we can get another.
Caught one. Wow. Wow. Another stock guy, but nice. Let's take care of him. You know, I really wanted some browns, but these guys have been pretty fun. I didn't really expect to see a lot of stalkers, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong way. Wrong way. There he goes. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. All right. All right. This is going to be such a long shot. But I see rises. And so I decided that see if I can get one to eat size 18 purple haze I got one to eat the size 13 18 purple haze now this guy's gonna be a small brown but Finally a brown. Oh. Finally a brown. That's incredible. Woo.
Oh man. Oh, didn't even see it. It was about to recast again. Look at that tiny little brown. Got him. Which is great because I missed one. And he just slowly came up and sipped it. Come here, dude. Slowly came up and sipped it. Looks like the one I just caught. Well, the one I just caught had less red spots on. Look that guy. Boom. Ah. Hey, I just couldn't feel the tension. What is this guy? A wild rainbow. I'm not sure how I feel about you guys being in here. But that's definitely what he is. Ah, got him. Yeah. Ah, really nice. A little brown. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Wandering Joe's Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody who subscribed. If you feel so inclined, subscribe, like the video, comment, share it, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm going to keep fishing. In fact, I am also going to make the intro for the next video that will be out in two weeks. And it might be out next week if I can go fishing and have a good day and whatever else. But I like this every other week scheduled and it kind of works for me right now considering I'm tired and, you know, it's winter time and, you know, I'm supposed to be hibernating, lethargic, and all that kind of stuff. But, as always guys, take care of yourselves, be well, and I will see you on the next one.